Created by human engineers centuries ago, Agoo was a system of self-replicating nanobots designed to explore interstellar space by traveling through microscopic wormholes, or keyholes as they're called. Officially known as the Pathfinder probe, the goo was our key to charting the galaxy. Over nearly two centuries, the goo successfully discovered eight new habitable worlds, but failed to find what we sought most, intelligent life. Deemed too costly, the program was terminated and the goo was left to expire in the depths of space. Or so we had thought. The goo has now re-emerged and found its way to Ecosystem 9. It appears to have altered its directive and evolved into something different than we designed. Its new goals are unclear. I believe it may be here to gather resources on its way back to Earth. We may very well have created the weapon of our own destruction. Unlike our forces and those of the Beta lifeform, the Goo have no central commander and no base of operation. Instead, they maintain large formless masses that we call mothers. These function as hubs to harvest resources and replicate. The more catalyst they consume, the larger they get. As they increase in size, they are able to spawn smaller protean masses and other mothers. Formless goo may be slow, but it is highly mobile. It is able to traverse almost any landscape, allowing it to escape when discovered and to circumvent our base's defenses. A word of caution, formless goo is not defenseless. Composed of countless nanobots, it will molecularly disassemble any unit or building it contacts. We will need to maintain a safe distance as we engage. As we are observing, the goo has become extremely aggressive. Left unmonitored in the depths of space, it has evolved its specialized units from exploration devices into machines of war. The simplest of these units is the Drover. Originally designed to survey terrain, they are now capable of firing a blast of deadly projectiles. They are small, but they are very dangerous in large groups. Once a bioscanner, the Striders are now the main weapon of the Goo Force. They assemble quickly and have a plasma projectile effective at puncturing armored units. The Goo's most powerful direct attack units are the Destructors. They are large, durable, and, as engineered, extremely effective at destroying hardened structures with their powerful plasma cannon. Designed to traverse extreme terrain, the Crescent has evolved into the Goo's long-range artillery unit. They have the ability to fling small, unformed balls of Goo over long distances. These projectiles explode on contact and have large, corrosive areas of effect. Adhering to its original purpose to provide shelter to units in harsh planetary environments, the Bastion has no offensive capabilities, but it does have a tremendous capacity for absorbing our assaults and blocking our line of sight. It is, in essence, a walking fortress wall. The Goo has no flight capabilities that we are currently aware of. However, the Tempest, originally engineered as an atmospheric monitoring unit, is capable of destroying any aerial threats within its range. For scouting and battlefield observation, the Radiant is designed with omnidirectional sensors to see for long distances and over high terrain. Mobile radio towers, these units can be upgraded to employ stealth technology as well as detect it. Another highly specialized unit is the Dweller. Designed to endure the harshest of planetary climates, these burrowing units have evolved into mobile landmines. If we get too close, they explode, dispensing not only damage, but releasing small protean units capable of quickly forming into additional units. The goo evolving beyond its programming is not entirely unexpected. When the program was active, 
size restrictions were enforced for fear of emergent behaviors. Since being abandoned, these fears have been manifested in what we are calling the purger. The largest single mass of protein goo, the purger is capable of not only consuming everything in its path, but also subverting the ground beneath us, undermining our defenses and obliterating our forces. The purger is truly a force of nature and appropriately named. Aggressive, elusive, and very adaptable, the goo is an adversary like no other I've encountered. With a roar that echoes through the stars, it is a monster not of our design, but of our creation. If we do not stop it here, there may be no stopping it at all.